I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and today Charity Vance and I are going to show you how to do Elsa's amazing textured French braid from Disney's new movie Frozen. Okay, now to begin, we need to put a ton of volume in the top of the hair. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a section of hair and lift it off of the crown area, and we're going to take this um, texturizing powder that adds volume and just tap it ever so lightly into the root line. And we're gonna continue to just work that in and then we're gonna section a little bit smaller section and do it again. And I don't know why this works, but it does. It's like the magic powder that just makes all this volume. And then we're gonna begin to tease. So we're going to, again, section off a little bit of hair and I want to do a little bit smaller section. Do you mind holding this, Miss Charity? Not at all. And we're just going to begin back combing. Now you can back comb as little or as much as you like, but in the pictures she does have a ton of um, movement in her hair and some really soft curl and some serious volume. And so we're going to try to get some really good volume in Charity's hair. Okay, now that we've got this great volume, it's a little crazy looking, so we're gonna take our teasing comb slash smoothing brush, or brush, it's both a brush, and we're just going to smooth the top. So now this takes all of those little teased pieces and just like lays them ever so flat and soft so that they don't look too crinkly and crazy. And remember not to push too hard because you're just trying to get the very, very top layer of hair smoothed down. Okay, and we are ready to begin the actual style. Okay, now because she has so much texture in the top, I'm going to take a really small section, let me turn you just a little this way, and I'm going to just pick up the top layer, but I'm gonna give the hair just like a, a twist and a half maybe before I hang on to it too tight. Just because I wanna give a little bit of a feel for movement in the hair and waves. Then I'm gonna to go to like the next little piece next to it, do the same thing, just to add a little twist and kind of hold it in the same hand, like this. I'm gonna do one more. And you want it really volumized still, so don't pull the twist down too tight. And we can go back and loosen them in just a minute. Now I'm gonna switch, I did three on the right side, and now I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side and I'm gonna be twisting both sides towards the middle of the head. That's gonna help us later to hide because we don't want an obvious middle part. So picking up a second section on the left side and giving a twist. And then my third section on this side. Okay, now we're going to bobby pin it just with in the back by crossing a couple bobby pins. And we are set for our next step. So now that we have the volume and texture we want and we've crossed our bobby pins securely, we need to start a braid. Now I'm gonna begin by picking up a little piece of hair in the middle and that becomes one of our strands. Then I'm gonna pick up some hair on the right side and that becomes a strand and some on the left side and that becomes a strand. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you begin the braid by crossing those hair strands over the top of the bobby pins. So we're gonna essentially hide them with the hair. And then you're just gonna continue like a normal French braid down the back of the head and you want loose, sides so don't pull too tight as you go 
And if the bobby pins start showing, we can hide them again later. And continue a French braid down. Get this section smoothed out right here. We're going to gather all the hair in and we're just going to finish it off with a normal three strand braid when we run out of hair at the bottom. Again, don't do it very tight because you want it to look loose and we're actually going to pancake the bottom when we're finished with the braid. When you're finished, secure it with an elastic. Pink this a little bit. Fluff it a little more. See how big and full we made that look? And then I'm just gonna work my way up, loosening the whole braid. And pulling, just softening everything up, especially the sides. You want those to be really soft. And we are almost finished. Now, you have two choices at this point. You can leave the hair as it is and just throw it over the shoulder. And this is a great look. If you have baby hairs in front, right here by your hairline, or you have bangs, then you can choose to kind of tease them and pull them out a little bit and then curl them like Elsa wears in the picture. So we're gonna go ahead and pull them out a little. Charity's the best at this. Do you wanna do this part? Sure. Because she has it on her own hair all the time so she knows how to just exactly look for her baby hairs. So once you pull your natural baby hairs out or your little bangs or wispies, then we are just going to take a curling iron and just give them the slightest little curl just so they're soft and pretty and fall really naturally. Kind of lift it at the root. And you have, ta-da, Elsa. Fantastic. I know you guys are gonna love this hairstyle because it's a Disney look that is an everyday wear. You could wear this hairstyle anywhere, any day, and look totally perfect. So make sure and leave a comment below telling us if you found the hidden Mickey in the video this time. Don't tell us where he is, just say I found it and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.